"'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the blacksmith not a creature was stirring, not even a goat. The bandits were hung by the roof with care, in hopes that St. Orculus would soon be there. The black falcons were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sharp swords danced in their heads. And Basil in his tower and I in my sweater had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the field there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of new fallen snow gave luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear, but a miniature sleigh and four tiny wolves, with a little old driver so mean and green, I knew in that moment he must be Saint Orc. So today I thought it would be fun to do a little Christmas upgrade to the medieval blacksmith. I was sent this light kit for the blacksmith from Light Tailing, and I thought, you know what, let me use this opportunity to set up a winter wonderland, featuring some of the builds and minifigures from my recent advent calendar that I made on YouTube Shorts. I'm also going to be giving a few light kits away, so thanks to Light Tailing for providing those, but more on the giveaway a little later in the video. So to turn the blacksmith into a winter version, I removed all of the sand green pieces from the roof to replace with white ones. This really helped to make it look like the roof had a thick layer of snow on top. I then added in some white parts around the edges to look like icicles hanging down. And finally on the ground I removed any foliage or greenery that I could and replaced it with a bunch more white plates and tiles, along with a few fallen white leaves. I think this really helps sell the wintry look that I was going for. I also added in my snowman and sword in the snow mocks from my custom advent calendar that I made, along with this pine tree that I stole from the viking village. So now that I've got all the snow laid down, let's take a look at the minifigures that I'm including. Of course I have to have Saint Orculus in this layout, or Santa Orc if you'd like that. The bendy jaw piece makes it really easy to add the Santa hat on, and man, I just love how this guy looks. It's also a decent way to depict the Grinch now that I think about it. For Saint Orculus, I also built this sleigh set and added in some mean looking wolves and undead horses instead of reindeer. Well fitting for the orcs in my opinion. I also threw in a bunch of weapons in the back of the sleigh in lieu of toys. I just love this orcified sleigh that I've got going on now. Next up, we've got a forestman with a reindeer hat, which is quite fitting. Just don't think too much about what he had to do to get that helmet. And for my final fig, I've got this ugly Christmas sweater Black Falcon. The torso is just the back print of a Star Wars Christmas sweater, but I think it works perfect for the Black Falcons. That is, if you ignore the R2-D2 print on his back. Placing these guys around with a few random peasants and the new goat piece, we've got a pretty fun looking winter scene going on. But now let me show you how the layout looks with the lights provided by light tailing. And man, that final touch of warm lighting really sells the whole cozy Christmas vibe that I was going for. I'm so happy with how these look. The lights in the kit were actually way easier to install this time around compared to the Viking Village that I did recently. That might just be because I'm more used to it now, but it took maybe 30, maybe 40 minutes to get this all strung up. If you're interested in picking up any light kits from Light Tailing, this Christmas they will be having a massive sale on their website. I'll leave an affiliate link that helps out the channel and some unaffiliated links in the description where you can pick up this kit and many others on their site. Before we get into the giveaway, I just want to thank everyone that's watched my videos for the past six-ish months that I've been doing this. I cannot put into words how grateful I am to everyone who watches, comments, and likes my videos. Making these videos is so much fun and I am so happy to have grown a community of Castle fans here. I also want to take the time to shout out some other YouTubers that really deserve to have more subscribers. First, First, Edge of Bricks and Kubrick. These two extremely talented Polish mock builders and YouTubers are largely responsible for getting me into LEGO Castle with their unbelievable mocks and really fun videos on their channels. If it weren't for their mock series, I wouldn't have ever gotten into medieval LEGO or even started a channel at all. So please, go get both of them to 10k subscribers, they deserve it big time. Next, Ben the Brick Builder. He is one of the most underrated medieval mock builders out there and has some great videos on his mocks and his really impressive Red Dragon Knight army. He's almost at 1000 subscribers, so please, if you've made it this far, into the video, please go check his channel out after. Next, Gyojo. Gyojo has some really unique and different videos on LEGO Castle that incorporate his knowledge of medieval history and medieval weapons that I find super interesting to watch. He hasn't uploaded very recently, but if you haven't seen his videos already, go check them out. I think you'll really like them. And finally, I want to thank Old LEGO Guy for making some of the best archival footage of classic LEGO Castle sets out there. I don't own any classic castle sets, but thanks to Old LEGO Guy, I've been able to use his footage to help make my own videos better. I couldn't have made a ton of my videos without the help of his work. Please, please go subscribe to his channel and get him to a thousand. He has a video for nearly every classic castle set you could think of, and he deserves way more recognition from the community. There are a ton of other channels I could sit and list off here, including ones way larger than my own. So let me just say thank you to everyone who's left a comment on one of my videos. I really appreciate it. All right, now for the giveaway. So Light Telling has sent me nine of these Christmas streetlight kits to give away today. Thank you to them for providing the kits. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on this video. Doesn't matter what the comment is, just be sure to leave one. I will announce the winners on a community post post on January 1st, New Year's Day. I'm going to use a random generator to pick three winners that will receive three Christmas street lights each. Unfortunately, the giveaway will only be open to people in the United States. I am so sorry to everyone outside of the US, but since this is my first time doing a giveaway,
way, I'm keeping it just within the US. Hopefully in future ones I'll be able to include more regions. In addition to making a community post, I will reply to the three winners comments with further information on how to claim your prize. Good luck to everyone and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching.